Located off of Highway 41 at Legion Memorial Field, the Eganville Farmer's Market showcases local products from Eganville and the surrounding areas. They are happy to explain how things are done on their property and that's the added benefit to farmer's markets. You can meet the actual vendor, ask questions, and make sure of what you are eating. Well, the Eganville market is quite unique. There's uh, quite a variety of vendors here, and uh, there's a good selection. And if you come out and try the different products, I think you'd be thoroughly impressed. What I'm selling are items that are turned on a lathe, uh, pens and uh, ice cream scoops, uh, coffee scoops, and various wooden items as well. Some of them are plastic uh, uh, pens and so on, and, and some are wooden. I usually spread it over two days because you have to drill the blank and uh, mount a, a, a piece of metal inside it and uh, I'd usually spread it over two days so that the um, inserts can, can dry. Well, I have over 30 varieties of relishes and jams and jellies and I call, call my brand is Morning Glorious Preserves. Oh, I, my pepper jellies, I think, and anything from very mild to very hot. They're very popular, yes, yeah. It's a, it's a wonderful market. All the vendors are so friendly and supporting of, of everybody. And uh, yeah, they enjoy, they enjoy their, their customers. It's, yeah, it's a, good, it's a good place to be. I'm from Firefly Meadows Farm. We started that a few years ago, moved here from Guelph, and are really enjoying the Ottawa Valley. It's wonderful. I uh, really wanted to participate in the market and sell some of our, our produce. So we've got about a half acre of market garden, along with lots of animals. We've got draft horses that help with the farming, and uh, we've got some sheep, chickens, turkeys, heritage turkeys, and the market garden. So. We have a lot of different vegetables today. We've got lettuce and Swiss chard, beets, radishes, all sorts of spring vegetables. We have lots of garlic. Uh, so we've harvested some as green garlic. We've used that in making some garlic butter and the uh, garlic cloves we use in the winter time and dehydrate them and make our own garlic powder. It's like when we used to grow up, um, when we grew up we had rhubarb sticks that we would dip into sugar. And so we've taken that sort of idea and sliced up the rhubarb, dipped it in some sugar syrup, and then dehydrated it. So it's, you get that sugar flavor and then you also get that tang from the rhubarb. I make sourdough bread and use some of the ingredients from the farm. So quite often I make a herb and honey, which is really popular. We have bees as well. And so we use some of the honey from that and herbs from the garden. It makes a wonderful sourdough. So I've got a sourdough starter. Today I've got cheese sourdough bread. Um, sometimes do the herb and honey or a multi-grain. A ter French tarragon this week as well, which is really good. Because on a Friday, there's a lot of people coming through from Ottawa and going towards Algonquin or a lot of the cottage areas around here, lots of the lakes. And uh, people can stop by and, and pick up their, their fresh greens or whatever they would like for the, for the weekend. So it's a really good time for it as, as people are coming through. We count on the tourists for a lot, of, a lot of the visits. The Eganville Farmer's Market proudly offers fresh locally produced products every Friday from 2 to 6 p.m. from mid-June to Thanksgiving. <laughs>